Remembering a friend, a musician, and a son, the father of the innocent 23-year-old struck and killed in a police chase this weekend is talking about the accident. Fox 25's Ted Daniel is live in Denham with details. Ted? Mark, we're outside the Hilton in Dedham. This is where a memorial service for Paul Ferris just wrapped up a short time ago. Ferris is the young man who was in a taxi cab when that cab was hit by a man who was being chased by police. He was an innocent victim at the wrong place at the wrong time. I told my brother I could go on for probably about six or seven days just talking about him once I get going. I love him so dearly. <laughs> In the words of his father, 23-year-old Paul Ferris was as good as it gets, and based on the remarks made at his memorial service, Paul's dad's not the only one to feel that way. I want to think that in my life I'm going to, you know, be a friend like Paul was um, to me. Originally from Minnesota, the 2006 Tufts University grad was working as an insurance adjuster and planning to attend law school. It was early Sunday morning when his father got the phone call. He said, I really am really sorry that I have to tell you this on the telephone. But um, you know, your son was in a terrible car accident, and, and he's gone. Paul was killed in Somerville when a man who was being chased by state police slammed an SUV into the taxi cab Paul was riding in. Also in the cab, Paul's live-in girlfriend, 21-year-old Caitlin Hoyt. She's at Mass General in critical condition. She needs everybody around her to be strong. If we're strong, Caitlin will be strong. The man behind the wheel of the SUV, 29-year-old Javier Morales of Somerville. He made an illegal turn, and that's why the state trooper was chasing him. An investigation is now underway to see if the chase should have been called off prior to the crash. I fully expect that the DA's office and the uh, Mass State Police are going to work with our family to make sure that everything is made right. The family says at this point their focus is on celebrating Paul's life and helping Caitlin and her family get through this horrific time. The SUV driver Javier Morales was arraigned this afternoon in his hospital room. He faced a host of charges, including driving on a suspended license and vehicular homicide. Now, for the first time, we have the identity of the cab driver. He is in critical condition as well. He's 45-year-old Walid Shahini, and he is from Framingham. We're live in Dedham tonight. I'm Ted Daniel, Fox 25 News. Ted, thank you. Fire forces some.